This tutorial is for those who want to make a sword trail effect. I use my motion trial add-on to create the mesh from an animation, but that's only for convenience. If you want to follow along, go download the sword trail material. It's free. The nodes are basically scrolling UVs and that's all. All right, so you can use motion trail to create a mesh from the animation. First, create a tracker point at the tip, second at the base. Then go to the tracker points panel and click mesh from tracking points. And then you don't need a motion trial anymore. Now both meshes have a vertex per frame. Join the two meshes to smooth it out, convert the curves. Set the spleen type to bezier and the handle types to free. You can modify the handles to smooth out the trail. Be careful not to change the location of the main con code controls since that'll change the length of the trail. Auto handles also works pretty well if you don't want to smooth it out manually. When it's all good, remember the resolution value of the curve. Mine is set to 16. Now convert the curve to mesh, go to edit mode, select all vertices, and bridge edge loops. For me, this will create 16 faces per frame. For the UVs, select the first face. Reset its texture chords, go into the UV editor, and set the pivot to bounding box. Flip the chords around the X axis. Keeping the first face as the active selection, select the rest of the faces. UV unwrap using follow active quads, so the rest of the faces follow the first face and account for its flipped UVs. Be sure that edge length mode is set to even so all UVs are the same size. Alright, for me, the last thing I gotta do is scale by 1 16th from the origin on the X axis with the pivot set to cursor. Use the value that you noted down earlier for the Bezier resolution preview value. Finally, set the material to sword trail material. On the sword trail node, key current frame at the start and end frames. Set the interpolation type to linear with linear extrapolation. Set frame start and frame end to match the range of the trail. In the texture node, make sure it's set to the gradient texture or whatever sword trail texture you have. The right side of the texture leads the trail. And now you're done. If you prefer to have a focal frame for the sword trail, I've made an alternative. Everything's the same. There's just three added properties. Set the brightest frame along with the darkest frames. If your texture is a gradient, you can use the output UV base alpha as the UVs for the texture node.